Hey there, people of the Interwebs. It's me, Brandon Noel. Um, if this is the first time you watching any of my videos, uh, I'm a cartoonist uh, slash comic book artist slash painter, um, and uh, basically I do these uh, videos for my personal fun and um, just having fun. This is, um, I'm going to be uh, doing a pinup uh, video. Um, I've already done some non photo blue pencil outlines. This is a pinup based off of uh, Jessica Negri, uh, the cosplay pinup. Queen, um, just wanted to give credit to her. This is from her Instagram. This, um, image I did change it a little bit, I gave it more of a Disney princess face. Um, but if you're familiar with the image, it's still clearly Jessica Negri. Um, it's interesting. Miss Negri's almost a 20th century, not 20th century, but 21st century uh, Marilyn Monroe. And that she's a pinup, but her status as a internet personality um, you know, is so much bigger. I don't follow her YouTube stuff, but I just see her on Instagram. I think it's interesting that uh, YouTube personalities in some cases are bigger or almost uh, kind of like new television stars. They're uh, treated in such a way that uh, they're almost movie stars. It's that new emerging medium. I don't keep up with uh, current fads or, or internet culture all that much, honestly. Um, I first discovered Miss Negri. Uh, through Philip DeFranco. He had done some videos with her um, years ago, and that's when I became aware of her. But I was following Mr. Philip DeFranco for the news. Um, and I still continue to follow him for the news. I think uh, the Philip DeFranco show is a very valuable news resource and uh, if the media companies weren't so stuck in their model he should have a cable deal honestly um, not just based off of his followers I don't even know if he'd want to do a cable TV deal I think he wants to start his own news network um, and after so many years of being your own boss, I could imagine, well, I don't have to imagine, I know how difficult it is to go work for somebody else. Um, 
that was one of the hardest things was I ran my own business for so long and uh, called my own shots for so long and then having to go work for somebody else is just it's <laughs> it's demoralizing so I can understand where he might not even want to do you know TV but you look at guys like Matt Pat you look at guys like um, some of the, these incredible YouTubers and they just they were at the right place right time and put in the right you know the, the work even somebody like Logan Paul who I know a lot of people don't like and I honestly haven't watched any of his videos to know much about him I only know him from when he pops up in the news but even somebody like Logan Paul has to put in the, the work at some point you know he's he's doing something
So. I threw the non photo blue down, I threw some pencil down, and then I threw some marker over the pencil. In hindsight, I probably could have just inked right on top of the non photo blue, but it was alright. There's some watercolor on here. One thing about watercolor is I burn through a lot of paper towels. Just kind of wiping my brush off between colors. In the my photo that I'm referencing from, she's wearing glasses. I chose to not draw glasses because I didn't want to draw them. Draw them. So now I don't know what color her eyes are. I think her eyes are blue. By the way, that looks way too dark. Paper towel.
I'm just going to reach over and grab a new brush. Um, I like the brush I have, but I'm just going to grab a bigger one so I can load it faster. One thing, beautiful thing about watercolor is you can just let the water drip down the canvas and create the texture for you. There's some tan lines that I'm trying to create by going over and adding darker spots. more or less the lighting, the shadow. Sometimes you just have to know when to stop. Otherwise you're going to ruin your piece. Now I'm just goofing around. Um, in the photo there's rocks behind her, but I'm just goofing around. Move the 
the phone. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece, I've sprayed it to cause the paint to run, to tape it flat move up higher problem with this is sometimes when you remove the tape you're going to get a weird line up there but if you don't do it, you're going to get a warp when you're working with like board or paper. This is my fun little, hopefully I didn't shoot my phone with water, nope, looks good. Uh, fun little pin-up project with watercolor. Um, I said I, I sprayed it with water to get everything running. Um, I didn't talk too much because I honestly don't know that much about Jessica Negri, uh, who I based the image off of, who I stole one of her images from uh, imager or what? Not imager. Uh, I can't even think anymore. Uh, but there you have it. Um, fun little pinup piece. Uh, hope you guys enjoy these. I'm having fun. Um, I, I I think these pieces tend to come together a little bit more when I start playing with colors and inks and waters. Um, I really want to start playing with um, ink, uh, color ink on the on these, but color ink is so freaking expensive compared to watercolor that I don't want to do that. So, um, uh, hope you enjoy these videos. I hope they're coming out all right. I don't know about the color. Hope things aren't being washed out too much. Um, all right, have a good one. Take care. Please uh, share, like, subscribe. Um, uh, Patreon.com slash Destiny Comics. DestinyComics.com. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Destiny Comics. Uh, Instagram at Destiny Comics. Facebook at Destiny Comics. Uh, Twitter at Destiny Comics, which Twitter is mostly me complaining. Um, I'm going to try to get better about not complaining so much on Twitter. Um, it seems to be my default setting the last couple of months. But I uh, hope you, you like these videos. Um, please check out a podcast that has nothing to do with art and comics. It's uh, The Bookies. Uh, it's a book club podcast where me and a group of friends sit down and and discuss uh, a work each month, a paperback, um, and uh, it, it, it's a fun podcast. 
Uh, it's one I've been I'm very proud of. So please like subscribe. Uh, like subscribe. Um, if you feel like you want to support the arts, um, patreoncom slash Comics or look up Brandon Noel on Patreon. Uh, in May, I will be launching a Kickstarter for my new comic book series, Flatfoot McGee. Uh, have a good one. Take care. Hope you enjoy these videos.